Hi Capricorn, welcome to your October Singles Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Capricorn, we're looking at singles. So this is open to past, present, future. It could be maybe an ex, someone from the past, maybe a crush, maybe someone uh, you know, never been romantically involved with. It could be a missed opportunity. It could be someone totally new coming into your life. It could be anything really. If you're looking for new love only, I'll be doing those a little later on the channel. I'll be looking at your energy here at uh, Capricorn and the energy around you. Oh, let us see what's going on. All right, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Please only take what resonates for you, including the signs mentioned. And you definitely can flip a switch or reverse it if it makes sense to. Cross watchers as well can be a reading for you. All right, Capricorn. So if something shows up here you're not interested in or it's not resonating, totally fine. It won't resonate every single time. Just leave it for somebody else. You can always watch other signs in your chart or uh, other readings on the channel. But welcome in. I hope you're all doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So Capricorn, let's see. Well, we have Leap of Faith. So we have the um, full energy here. Believe in yourself. Listen to your heart. Do what gives you joy. So we have zero, which for me, energetic reset, clean slate, fresh new start, baggage behind us, jumping in and taking that leap. Brand new beginning, usually there. All right, let's see. And that zero can indicate, you know, endings and new beginnings. And we have the page of swords, truthful, perspective, analytical, and blunt, an exciting new challenge. You have what it takes to succeed, review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Now the page of swords, this could be uh, communication. It also could be maybe someone you met online. Usually Page of Swords is like the um, online communicator, you know, doing research or spying, or perhaps maybe you've met somebody and you're talking to somebody online. All right, let's see, Page of, Pen uh, Page of Cups here. Gentle, loving, dreamy, open-hearted, a new emotional situation, messages regarding relationships or social invitations, a great intuitive, intuitive insights. Page of Cups energy here. I think you're getting a romantic invite here and it's telling you to take that leap of faith, Capricorn. It could be somebody that you met online. I'm just saying in the moon. But there could be some fear. I'm just saying we have the moon, which is 18, which is 9, which is, you know, endings and new beginnings. The opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance, face your fears, and grow stronger. So we have Aquarius twice and Pisces twice. Wow. So it could be signs in your chart or maybe the other person, but it's telling you here, don't fear the unknown. Don't fear what you can't see. Face your shadow. And if you've been, you know, thinking about somebody here or you've been communicating or talking to somebody online, and if you get that romantic invite, it's telling you to take a leap of faith. Or somebody wants to take a leap of faith towards you and offer you a romantic invite. So we're going to see... Capricorn, what is going on here? So I definitely feel it could be like new, really new, or maybe just like an online connection, someone that you just know that you could be, that you've known for a long time, but maybe just never met or whatever the case may be, but we're going to see. All right. So however it resonates for some, it could be new for some, it could be someone that you just know online or whatever, you know, whatever the case. All right. Capricorn. So let's take a look at your energy first, and then we're going to take a look at the energy around you, particularly, obviously, this energy, and then take it from there. All right, Capricorn. Let's take a look at your energy. Eight of Cups. Hmm. Eight of Wands. Well, that's walking away, but then coming back. What the heck? Eight of Wands, travel, action, communication. Eight of Cups is usually, you know, leaving in search for something better, but then coming back. What, what, what's going on here? Hangman. So feeling a little stuck. Stuck about this energy. Three of Wands. This could be happening like right now. This is Three of Wands reverse. Just saying. Six of Swords reverse. And that's also like returning as well. So I feel like a back. I'm getting back and forth energy here. So it could be that, you know, when you start talking a lot to this person or you're feeling like things are getting a little more intense or deeper, whatever, maybe there's a little resistance in holding back and like, kind of like, all right, I'm just going to kind of push, you know, pull my energy back here. But then there's also the return. So like I said, I'm looking at your energy Capricorn. So take it out, it resonates, but I feel like 
back and forth here. It could be happening like right now. And a little bit of a stuck energy here, like I don't know what to do. So we do have Pisces showing up again. So we got a lot of Pisces here. Let's see. Nine of Wands reverse is telling you not to struggle. Don't struggle. Tower is a stuck energy, you know, not really, and nothing's really changing, but it's also telling you don't struggle. Just let it work itself out. Eight of Pentacles, let it be what it's meant to be, which could be wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy here with the Nine of Cups. Seven of Cups, though, is feeling distraught here, a little confused, like I don't know what to do. So I feel like you got some sort of connection here on the table, um, Capricorn. And I feel like maybe this person has offered a romantic invitation to meet up or take you out or something. But I'm getting like, or maybe there's been a lot of flirting and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, I, so there, there could be like coming together, the flirting, but then there's like the pulling back. I keep getting that. All right. So it could be someone's kind of stuck on you as well with that hanging man. But let's see. All right, Capricorn. So let's see. What else do we need to know here for Capricorn about this energy? For Capricorn, what else do we need to know for Capricorn? Let's see. Two of Pentacles, so everything seems up in the air right now. Can't make up our mind. You know, this person also feels like you're back and forth. Again, there's that Two of Pentacles. You usually see the juggling and the infinity symbol of that back and forth kind of energy. Page of Wands reversed. Maybe there's been a rejection here. I don't know. Page of Wands reversed. I mean, let's see. King of Cups. This is someone developing feelings. More Pisces on Pisces. So it's like four times we have Pisces here. The Devil. Hmm. And the Five of Wands. I don't know. No. Is this person a little obsessed with you? I'm not sure here. We're going to see. Hopefully we get the Strength card because that would be good. Maybe reverse in this deck though, which wouldn't be good. But anyway, we have um, a feeling like this person is very adamant. Like they feel the conflict, a little bit of conflict coming from your side maybe. They're very adamant here with the devil energy. They could have a lot of hidden feelings and emotions. But they're very determined. I'm feeling with this Devil Cup that they're very, very determined. Like nothing's going to deter them. So they could be feeling a little, um, I don't want to say obsessed, but maybe uh, infatuated with you maybe. Let's see. We have Pisces, Capricorn, Sag showing up here. Let's see. Oh, the lovers. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> wow. The lovers, the high priestess. That could be, you know keeping our distance here seven of pentacles so a lot of waiting here so they definitely feel like you keep them like waiting or on edge they really don't like that but we have the star and the hermit so maybe they lose hope from time to time here but the hermit's definitely giving me uh single vibes i kind of see this person just kind of waiting it out even when there's no communication from you like if they did extend the offer and maybe there hasn't been an answer or maybe there's been a rejection from your side i don't know but they definitely feel like there's something here there with the lovers. So I'm not sure if, um, but we do have the wheel here, which is good. You know, fate, destiny, divine timing, things meant to be. You, you could be feeling like this person is a little like obsessive or something like that. And maybe they're coming off that way, but they're not meaning to, but you're, maybe you're just thinking that I'm kind of feeling that as well too, but let's see. Let's see. Let's see, let's see, Capricorn. Oh, that, that's you, Capricorn, right there. Oh, my goodness. So it could be this person is just thinking about you. King of Cups, looking at the devil here, which is you, Capricorn. I'm not saying you're the devil. Just be confirmation they're heavily thinking about you, and they feel the conflict. Because when I got this devil card initially, I didn't feel any negative energy around it. And I'm like, okay, what? Uh, Spare didn't give me any negative readings on it. It was just, and I could have picked it up. Duh, just now, okay, that is Capricorn. Okay, so they're thinking of you, Capricorn, but they feel the conflict or tension, um, uncertainty from your side. All right, that's why the Two of Pentacles is here. And maybe there hasn't been an answer to their invitation or maybe a rejection. I don't know, but maybe, you know, they're going to keep trying. Let's see. Capricorn. All 
right. Six of Cups reverse. So this is no one from the past. This is someone re relatively new. Four of Wands. Very dedicated, loyal, trustworthy. Foundation. Seven of Cups. Confusion here. Let's see. Knight of Wands. And the Knight of Swords. Two of the fastest knights here. Yeah, this person is going to be very adamant here. They're not going to give up. Knight, two knights here. Yeah, someone very, very much action orientated. Um, but again, they're distraught here because they do have like very stable, grounded energy about them. They may be thinking that uh, there could be something that happened with you in your past, and that's why you're hesitant here with them. So I have Aquarius Sag showing up here. Let's see. Three Pentacles, so growth, expansion, building, Page of Swords again. So we have double Page of Swords here. Could be, you know, someone you're chatting with online. Five of Pentacles. So they definitely feel maybe ghosted or rejected here. Three of Cups. They just want to court you, date you, get to know you. And there's the fool showing up again about taking the leap of faith. You know, jumping in, taking that risk. Clean slate, fresh start, energetic reset, brand new beginning. Hmm. Okay, I just saw the King of Pentacles, which could be your energy as well. So your they definitely have eyes for you. I'm looking at the eyes here. All right. Okay, so let's see Capricorn. So let's see what else do we need to know here for Capricorn. What else do we need to know here? Capricorn. This could it's not really giving me a lot of info like who they are or what they do. Um, I mean, maybe we'll get a little bit of that coming out. So again, take it how it resonates. Maybe you don't even know what they do. I don't know, but let's see. Ace of Wands reversed. Eight of Pentacles. Lovers, oh my goodness. Yep. King of Wands. King of Wands and the Six of Pentacles. So this is someone, so this could be somebody who's an entrepreneur, business owner, someone very spiritual or creative, passionate about what they do, someone very attractive as well. They definitely have love on their mind. And I'm getting a well-balanced energy here, someone who could be a hot, very hard worker, but yet there's something here about not embracing, um, they feel a lot of excitement about getting to know you, but there's something here about someone not embracing this new opportunity with the Ace of Wands in reverse. And this King of Wands is holding the Ace of Wands. So if you subtract the uh, six from the eight, you get the two of pentacles, which is up there. Again, like things up in the air, like uncertainty, like not sure. I'm just, I just don't, this person just doesn't know. So we've got Leo Gemini showing up. Magician, but it's something trying to manifest here, Gemini Virgo. This person is trying to manifest this with you. I just want to court you, date you, get to know you. But they feel, like I said, rejected maybe. But well, we do have an emperor here. I mean, this again, business owner, entrepreneur, a divine energy. It could be masculine. Again, there's that page of swords showing up again, which could be someone you're talking to online. So I'm feeling more like an online connection. But if you're like, I'm not chatting with anyone online, then maybe it's not your reading. But all right, so let's see what else we need to know here. There's that connection, though, with the lovers. Just saying... That's also going to be about making that decision to embrace this opportunity as well. Capricorn. Oh my goodness. I mean, we have one, two, three, four. All right, let's take one more. All right. Tower in reverse. Stuck energy. Strength in reverse. Knight of Cups. Again, courting, dating, getting to know. So somebody wants to court, date, get to know. But the other one is keep someone else here. I feel like it's you, Capricorn, keeping the energy stuck, not feeling maybe confident or strong enough to pursue this. Especially, you know, some people are leery of online connections. Temperance reversed. I feel like somebody's worried here. Um, and there's a Queen of Wands, so we do have a match. Somebody's worried here about, well, what if, you know, what if this is just a psycho? What if, you know, this is a crazy person? I just don't know. You know, what if they're not telling me the truth? They could be anybody. If someone's not believing that uh, this could actually be something or work out, but we do have a match here. So just saying, but I feel this temperance in reverse, somebody not believing in the impossible, that this could be something really good with the match here. definitely gives me 
good vibes. But let's see, we do have here um, Aries, Leo, Scorpio, Sag, Aries again. Let's see, Ace of Pentacles, Rebirth. So not embracing that new opportunity. Nine of Pentacles, very single energy, very, very single. But someone is just too uh, oppressed by this Four of Cups. But someone is pretty certain what they want. Nine of Wands, again, no struggle. Don't, don't struggle. But definitely there's a reclusive energy here with the Hermit. More single energy. So, you know, it's going to be up to you, Capricorn, if you want to give this person a chance and see where it goes. Um, but yeah, like I said, something is trying to manifest here. I think this person's not going to give up. I just saw the Hierophant, which is really good energy. But again, it's going to be totally up to you. I think someone's just fearing this. What if it's something, you know, crazy? Maybe someone's putting things in somebody else's head, whatever the case may be. But, you know, you always can meet in a public place. You know, meet somebody in a public place, and then you go your separate ways after. Anyway... Capricorn. All right, so let's see. And like I said, this could all be happening like right now. So maybe this person's waiting on you to give them an answer or something like that. All right, Capricorn. So let's see what we have here. Let's see what this deck has to offer. If it did resonate, you enjoyed this, please do like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell. Any support given is truly appreciated, and I thank you. And everything you absolutely need to know is down below in the description box. All right. Innocence. Okay, so that is a pure innocent quality here so I don't think there's anything to worry about really joy very happy fulfilling energy here comfort peace of mind comfort um, which is really good friendship you know it could be maybe this is an online friend but you never met them you know and but there's a fear of taking it like to a different level connections yeah so it's definitely a connection you have here I feel like it's an online connection of some kind but I do see happiness here Maybe you comfort each other as well. Could be a very powerful connection and being powerful and strong to be in the present. Wow, saying. And we do have new beginnings right there. So I don't know. I'm getting kind of good energy here, but I'm getting a lot of fear as well. So it's going to be up to you, Capricorn, what you do with this if it resonates for you. But that's what I have for you, Capricorn. So I hope that helped that resonated. Again, everything you need to know is down below. I'm wishing you the best, and I shall see you next time.